Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Bebop from the second wave of TMNT Ultimates from Super 7. Packaging's pretty consistent. Every character has this personalized manhole cover with this beautiful likeness of Bebop here. And you have two drills because he comes with a handheld drill weapon. Spin it around to the back. Classic TMNT logo there on the back. If we go ahead and slide this off, you can see this wonderful figure in all its glory. This thing is a beast, literally and figuratively. <laughs> it's very heavy. You have a little bio for Bebop, a little Bebop bio over here on the back. If you'd like to go ahead and read that, you can pause the video. But again, I love this kind of brick aesthetic here for the detail uh, design, I should say, for the box. Very, very cool. It's a very hefty figure. I think they did a really cool job with this. I'm very excited. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the box here so we can take a closer look. So I'm kind of blown away. I mean, this figure is absolutely fantastic. The detailing, the paint applications, just absolutely superb. And plus, it looks exactly like I remember the original vintage toy. Really, really well done. And he's huge. He's weighty. He's a massive figure. I mean, here is Leonardo from the same wave, just for size comparison. I mean, that is crazy. Look at that. He's almost like two times as tall. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Also, just for fun, here is like a Wolverine Marvel Legend. <laughs> you can see the size difference there as well. Absolutely massive. I can't get over it. But he looks fantastic. I mean, the head sculpt is beautiful. The glasses look great, the gold ring in his nose, his teeth, tiny little earring down here on his lip, earrings on his ears. He's got the mohawk that goes down into the tail, really well done. The turtle shell shoulder pads, the texturing and everything, it's absolutely fantastic. And then he's got these little turtle bones hanging down here on this side as well. He has this kind of gauntlet bracelet and he's got the chain over here on this hand the skull necklace the zipper is so beautifully painted on the vest it's outstanding he's got the chain here around the waist and then he's got this leg brace which i will say does hinder his knee articulation slightly we'll get into that in a little bit but that was on the original toy and all the detailing is there and then, of course, his high-top sneakers. Just the detailing and the paint applications are astounding. I, I can't get over it. It's so really well done. Uh, let's get into articulation. So you do have a large ball joint here at the base of the head. I guess technically the base of the neck. And that can move up and down, side to side, tilt side to side. Really nice movement there in the neck ball joint. Then you have shoulders can go out to the side and the... Shoulder pads, I believe, are connected to the vest, so they'll go up a little bit so that that can move. And then you do have front to back swivel as well. You do have a one single joint in the elbow, plus a rotation. Then you have a swivel and rotation in the elbows. The elbows, these are the wrists, these are the elbows. You have waist swivel. He doesn't have an ab crunch, I think because he's so bulky, but he does have a waist swivel. The tail can swivel around, so that can go around 360. You have to kind of get it past the vest, but you can do it. Uh, nice ball joint here in the hip. Actually, this might be a hinge and swivel. Yeah, this is a hinge and swivel in the hip. And for some reason, most Super 7s, uh, the Ultimates, the hips get a little loose on me. And this one's a little loose, but it's not too bad. He does have a hinge and swivel in the knee but as you can see here because of this knee joint he can't really swivel side to side as much but he can still bend at the knee and you can see that the brace is meant to bend as well which is really nice detail really nice work there so you have definitely have the knee bend just the side to side is a little hindered because of the connection there you do have leg swivel where the leg comes out from underneath the pants then you have the hinge here in the sneaker, as well as the side-to-side. -side. So, 
This knee over here, no problem whatsoever. Full range, full swivel there, no problem. And then the legs and everything are the same. So it's a beautifully detailed and articulated figure. He looks amazing. He's massive. He's huge. I think he might... Uh, I was going to say, I think he's my favorite from the wave, but I think that still has to go to Leonardo. Just because he's one of my favorite turtles and the figure looks fantastic. But he's a very close second. And that's not to put down the other figures in the wave. This is just an amazing figure. Really, really well done. So let's take a look at the accessories he comes with real quick. He does come with a closed set of fists. Nothing too special there. Just a closed set of fists. He does come with an alternate head. So the pink head is very reminiscent of the original figure. That's exactly what he looked like. But if you don't like that look, if you want a more solid uh, you know, skin tone all the way around, they do give you this second head so you can swap them out if you don't want the pink face, which I appreciate. I love the pink face. Like, like I said, it's very reminiscent of the original toy, so that's absolutely the one that I'm going to be having on the figure. But I do appreciate that if you don't really care for that look, they do give you a kind of more uniform skin tone face, which I think is kind of cool. And you can see it's just a giant ball joint back there, so you have to pop that head off and pop this one on. But again, just as nicely detailed, you got the nose ring, you have the teeth hanging out of the mouth, the glasses, all really cool there. Now, I love this accessory. The original toy came with this accessory. It is a trash can lid that he uses as a shield. It is almost impossible to get this into the fist the way that they have it. You can see how tiny the hand is closed up. Now, I was able to do it, but I seriously sat here for 15 minutes stretching the, the fingers out, you know, trying to use like pliers or not pliers, but like I had tweezers that I was trying to use the springiness of them to kind of open the fingers up so that I could slide this in here. And I was able to get it. But then once you do, because the hand and the fingers and the knuckles are so big, it kind of stretches this out. So while I absolutely love this accessory because it is very reminiscent of the original toy. I wish they could have made it a little bit bigger or a little bit easier to get into the hand or something because it, it's just, I don't understand why it's so difficult to get this in the hand. It's literally my only criticism of the whole set. And it's a minor one. It's not a big deal. I mean, you can figure out something to try to, but it's, it's really impossible to get him to hold this accessory and almost kind of makes it useless. So that's kind of a bummer uh, because I do really like that accessory and I wish he could hold it, but it's, it's a struggle. It's a very... Uh, tough struggle to get him to hold that accessory, which is a bummer. But as for the other accessories, he does have a knife, which looks pretty good. And this is actually not too difficult to get into his hand. You can just kind of feed that through the top and that will work. And then he also comes with the drill, handheld drill accessory. I was always confused by this as a kid because it kind of just looks like someone stuck a drill on the, the end of a camcorder. <laughs> I don't know why I can't hold on to anything today. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, so I, I was always a little confused by this this weapon. But I mean, Super 7 has recreated it faithfully here. They've done a perfect job. I just never understood <laughs> this weapon. Uh, but this can also go pretty easily into his hand. You just feed it in through the top. Anything you can feed in through the top, no problem whatsoever. It's just that shield that's like really impossible. Maybe they could have given him like an extra hand that had only two fingers or something. Like I know it wouldn't have been aesthetically accurate, but if you knew it was going to be like the specific shield holding hand so you wouldn't see it or something like that or even if they just made this larger or or made a special hand that was specially equipped to hold this i'm not sure i'm not sure what would have been the easiest route to go because the accessory looks great i love it i just feel like especially even with just how big bebop is i feel like this should have been a little larger in general um but then again, I guess it's relative to the size of the trash can, so I don't know. I love the accessory, I just wish you could hold it. That's basically it. And then you do, of course, get the uh, sprue here with the old unpainted accessory, so that's reminiscent of the original toy, which I always think is really fun. And you can just have that off to the side. So, he's great, like I said. I really, as far as the figure itself goes, the only complaint I have is that he doesn't have a hand that can easily hold that trash can shield. That's it. If you don't really care about that, and I can't say it ruins the figure for me all that much, it's a small bummer, but other than that, the figure looks fantastic, great articulation, the detail and the paint 
is off the charts. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. He looks fantastic. I can't get over how big he is, how weighty he is, how solid he feels. He is just an absolutely fantastic figure. I mean, again, I'm just going to bring Leonardo back in here for size comparison. That's crazy. That's crazy how much bigger he is. I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. But that's nuts. So this is definitely, like I said, if it's not my favorite of the wave, it's a very close second to Leonardo that I just showed you. Uh, this is definitely the one to grab. And I cannot wait for the next wave when we're going to get Rocksteady so I can have the two of them together because that's it's going to be amazing. I can't get over how great this figure is. So definitely recommend picking this up if you can. I believe all of the waves kind of went back in stock. I know with the announcement of Wave 5, uh, I think BBTS was taking pre-orders for all of the previous waves. I think they're reissuing some stuff. So if you missed out, there's still time. Go check like BBTS, Entertainment Earth, those kind of sites, and uh, get your hands on these figures because they're really, really well done. Especially if you have any kind of nostalgic ties to the original Playmates toy line, you're going to want these because they're amazing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.